alaikum. My name is Maria, and I converted to Islam one year ago. I'm from Boulder, Colorado. I was born here. I went to school here my whole life. Both of my parents, uh, they're actually from South Africa. They immigrated here. Neither of them are religious. They're both atheists, so they don't really believe in God. I have one brother. He's studying music at the University of Colorado. He is Catholic, so he's uh, not Muslim either. Before I converted, I didn't really believe in God. I didn't really have a religion. Um, I didn't really have a faith, I guess you could say. I kind of grew up as my parents taught me, so I didn't really believe in God, and I didn't believe in really any religion at all. We talked about religion, we kind of talked about it almost negatively, I guess. We didn't really, before, I, I didn't really see religion as a good thing. I thought it was something that like caused a lot of problems, you know, especially like in the world with wars and stuff. I viewed it mostly negatively. We discuss everything, including religion as a family. Um, we have done since they were small, and we've never, we are not against religion at all. Just because we don't have faith does not mean we're against it. And we've always said to them, they must find their own way and their own interests, their own path and their own convictions. Um, and we've never stood in the way of, in the way of them doing that. I guess I first learned about Islam um, when, about maybe two years ago. When I met my fiance, um, we didn't really talk about religion. Um, I didn't think about him in the sense of being a Muslim or being very religious. I guess I just thought of him as being like a really like noble and like kind-hearted person. He was one of the best people that I've ever known, like of such good character. And I guess when I thought about him, I didn't think about those qualities being because of Islam. I just thought they were because of him. Um, but the more I thought about it and the more I realized, um, I realized that, you know, maybe these things, maybe these good things about him were because of Islam, you know. Maybe because he was a Muslim, he actually ended up being, like, more kind-hearted and more open. He was a wonderful guy. I mean, we accepted him into our family and into our hearts right away. He was making his own path. He was studying biomedical, mechanical engineering. And at the time, he was driving from Boulder to Arizona, and he was actually killed in a car crash. And so that was when I first, it was my, my first real experience with death. And that was really what inspired me to like look more into Islam is because I just knew that there had to be more to him just dying. Like he couldn't just die. Like there had to be like a reason or not, not even a reason, but like there had to be some like higher power that was like dictating this. So I read the Quran and I, I read a lot of books and I talked to a lot of people. Um, and eventually I remember one day I was, I was reading the Quran. It was maybe two months after he died. And I was reading the Quran and it just, uh, it all kind of like clicked for me. I just had this moment where it all made sense. Everything that I was reading and everything that I knew and everything about him and everything about this whole situation, really. Uh, I just came to a point where I just knew that it was right. وبعد أن قرأت ماريا هذه الآيات من كتاب الله قررت أن تعتنق الإسلام إن في هذا لبلاغا لقوم عابدين وما أرسلناك إلا رحمة للعالمين قل إنما يوحى In this is a message for people who worship. We did not send you except as mercy to mankind. Say, it is revealed to me that your God is one God. Are you going to submit? I guess the first time I said the Shahada, like, I, I, was, I was by myself. It was, um, you know, that point where I, I realized that everything made sense. Um, and that's when I first said it was by myself, you know, really. I mean, that's when I first felt it. Um, Later, I did, when I ended up talking about it with some of my Muslim friends, um, they convinced me to go to Denver, because there's a sheikh in Denver um, that I went and I talked to, and, you know, I talked to h with him, and he kind of made sure that this is what I really wanted to do. You know, he wanted to make sure that I wasn't doing it for somebody, that I wasn't doing it for my fiancé. 
um, you know, and when he, you know, when we talked about this and I told him, yes, you know, this is for myself, you know, I, I said the Shahada with him and uh, with, two, with two other of my, uh, my friends, you know, like as witnesses. I didn't ever really talk too much about it with my parents, you know, just because I know that they weren't really keen on religion. I think the first time they realized that I was really getting serious was the last Ramadan. And I fasted, you know, for the whole Ramadan. It was my first Ramadan, it was really hard. But, you know, I did it, and that's when they kind of realized, oh, she's serious, you know? They're like, wow, she's really not eating all day. Um, and I think that's when they first realized that it was serious. You know, we never really talked too much about it. And, but eventually, you know, they, they kind of came to accept it. I do think about, you know, marriage sometimes. Um, I, I don't worry about it too much, you know? I feel like... I will find the right person, um, and I do want them to meet Muslim, obviously. Well, when I first put the veil, it was definitely very hard. It was really hard. Um, classes, uh, they were they were difficult. You know, I felt like everybody's staring at me. You know, there are other girls here that wear the hijab, but I think right now I'm the only American girl here wearing hijab. When I found out Maria had well, converted to Islam, it was a surprise for me. I don't think her conversion really affected our relation all that much. Um, we've been on the best of terms for a long time now. Yeah, we, we do talk about it. You know, we, we like to compare and contrast, you know, the two religions. And, you know, he thought it was interesting when I told him that in Islam, you know, we do believe in Jesus. You know, he was, like, shocked. He was like, ah, oh, I thought Muslims didn't believe in Jesus, you know. Um, Mary too, you know, because Catholicism is really about Mary, and so when I told him that Mary has her own chapter in the Quran, he was like, wow, you know, he was really impressed. I think Maria has definitely made the right choice for her. I wouldn't try to influence her anyway, and I don't think I could if I tried. <laughs> I think people, they get a lot of misperceptions about Islam. Um, the media, newspapers, TV, like, they all portray Islam in a very negative way. You know, you never see a Muslim being a good person. You know, you always hear about, you know, terrorists or extremists. You know, you never hear about the good things that Muslims do. And I don't think people know enough. Like, I really don't. Like, before I converted, I knew almost nothing about Islam, you know. And, you know, we weren't taught this in school, university, nothing, you know. So I really had to learn it all on my own. And most people just never learn. So. I think they just don't know a lot and, you know, the media just portrays Islam in such a negative way, it, it makes it difficult. My message to other people would be just to look at other people like they are yourself. Um, you know, just know that uh, not all Americans um, fit the stereotypes that you see on TV. Um, I would say that most of America does not think about Islam. Um, in the way that you might think. Um, we do see, some people, do, anyways, do see Islam um, not as a bad thing. I remember we, we ended up calling my grandma, you know, just to say hi, you know, how are you, we're together, we were thinking of you, that kind of a thing. And, and so I remember she was talking to me on the phone and she said, now Maria, you know, you shouldn't turn into any of those Muslims because you know they're just, you know, they're so oppressive and they treat their women so poorly. And I remember I just said, yes, Grandma, yes, whatever you say. <laughs>